So, how do we integrate x, natural log of x, with respect to x? Well, what we have here is a product of two functions which basically cannot be multiplied out. And when you get cases like this, it's a good idea to use integration by parts. So, what is integration by parts? Well, it's this formula here, which we'll just bring up. The integral of u dv dx integrated with respect to x equals uv minus the integral of v du dx with respect to x. Now whenever you've got a natural log function, you always make this function the u part. So this is going to be my u and this part here, x, is going to be my dv dx. Now, some of you might get in the habit of writing u equals natural log of x and dv dx equals x on the side here, but I must admit I never do that. I just go straight into the problem and just integrate. I see no reason really to do it, but that's up to you. So, according to the formula, it's u, which is natural log of x, so just put that in, natural log of x. Make sure you put it in brackets though, okay? Natural log of x, that's u, times v. v being the integral of dv dx with respect to x, so we've got to integrate the x, and that's going to be x squared over 2. Put that in brackets, okay? Then we have minus the integral of v. v is the thing we just integrated and assuming that you just wrote it in brackets and didn't uh, try and simplify anything just write this straight down again in here x squared over 2 put that in brackets okay so that's our v multiplied by du dx so we need to differentiate u with respect to x natural log of x is 1 over x okay and then don't forget to put dx on the end. So we've got that. What I would want to do next is just tidy up the first term. And this would look better now as x squared over 2 at the front. And natural log of x. Okay. Next up, for this one, what I'd want to do is simplify this term. And what we've got is minus, and I notice we've got a 2 here, so I'm going to bring the 2 out as a half in front of the integral. And then we've got x squared divided by x, which is just simply x. And we integrate this with respect to x. Next line, just write the first term again. And what is the integral of x? Well, that's x squared over 2. And so I couple it with this half, and we've got minus x squared over 4. And not forgetting the constant of integration. OK, well that's integration by parts for you. And that brings us to the end of the first part then of this part of the question.